MCV for you one chapter two derivatives session one in this session we are going to quickly review some concepts from previous courses and previous chapter that we may need in this chapter working with the properties of exponents from the previous grades we know any number to the power of 0 is 1 when we multiply a m a to the power of m and a to the power of n we add up the exponents that would be a to the power of m plus n a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is a to the power of m minus n power of power a to the power of n m to the power of n is a to the power of m plus n negative exponent a to the power of negative n is 1 over a n rational exponent m root of a n is a to the power of n over m there are some other properties like a b to the power of n is a n b n a over b to the power of n is a n over b n that you know very well Simplifying radical expressions or rationalizing or factoring radical expressions is important in this section. Finding the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Two lines D1 and D2 are parallel when their slopes are the same. They are perpendicular when slope of one of them is negative reciprocal of the other one. Simplifying rational expressions. Common denominator and factoring are two important points when we work with rational expressions. One important thing is when we deal with a rational exponent, uh, a rational expressions, we have to make sure that the denominator is not zero. When the denominator of a over b is zero, a over b is undefined. Uh, we also know when the index of a radical is even, the expression on the radical should be greater or equal than zero. Expanding and factoring of algebraic expressions. We worked a lot in previous courses and also previous chapter. Two important points that we have to know is a plus b to the power of n, which is called binomial theorem, a n plus n a n minus 1 b plus n times n minus 1 over 2 a n minus 2 b 2 plus similar terms to b n. The general term is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus k plus 1 divided by k times k minus 1 times 2 times 1. Notice that k times k minus 1 times 2 times 1 is denoted by k factor here. One important point is factoring a n minus b n, which is a minus b times a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 b plus similar terms till we get to b n minus 1. Working with the difference quotient, f of x is h minus f of x over h is called difference quotient. Limit of f of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches 0 is very important and as we see in this chapter it is called derivative of f of x and it is denoted by f prime of x. We used the limit of difference quotient to find the slope of the tangent line 
limit of f of a plus h minus f of a over h as h approaches zero is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals h, which is instantaneous rate of change of function y equals f of x at x equals a and it is equal to limit of f of x minus f of a over x minus a as x approaches a as we saw in the previous chapter thanks for watching